Welcome to the Body Project Podcast. I'm your host, Katherine Tanaka, a fitness expert and mindset coach, and the host and producer of this podcast, the Body Project Podcast. I help busy working women look and feel their best so they can live their most confident lives. In this podcast, we'll explore how physical and mindset practices can support you in becoming your most confident version of yourself. I believe that we can have it all. We can have our cake and eat it too. My hope is that this conversation shows you how simple habits can help you feel incredible and guide us to personal self-mastery. Join me as we explore how to live and feel our best in this lifetime, because this isn't a dress rehearsal. Welcome to today's conversation. I hope this podcast finds you well. At the time of this recording, it is in the beginning of September after a long weekend, and I am ready to have a fresh start. And I wanted to do this conversation because I think it is really important. As we step into September, September is actually like the January of the fall right? September is an amazing time where people get back on track, right? We send our kids back at school. We try to get back into a routine after the summer months of hopefully resting, relaxing, maybe indulging a little bit more than usual, getting back on track. And so I wanted to give you a little bit of a newsletter kind of conversation today about what I've been up to, a little debrief on the summer, and about what you can expect from this podcast over the next three months as we head into Q4, the end of the year, and into a new one. It's crazy to think about we're talking about the end of the year, but the truth is, is that we only have four months, right? Not even three and a half, the rest of September, October, November, and then December, and then we're stepping into 2024. And so the big question is, what are you taking on for the final quarter of the year? How are you stepping into what's possible for you? How are you stepping into what feels best in your life? And this isn't necessarily body project goals, but this can be anything from business, from mindset, from relationships to nutrition, to fitness, and all the things that we talk about on this podcast. So I hope you had a beautiful summer regardless of when you're listening to this, we had an extraordinary summer. My kids were away at summer camp and we had a great opportunity uh, a couple of weeks ago to go visit Chicago, Illinois. Uh, We are from Canada, so we don't spend a lot of time in the United States, but we had a wonderful trip. If you've never been to Chicago, I highly recommend it. The people were lovely. We had some amazing meals. The weather was outstanding. The waterfront there is really incredible. Toronto, unfortunately, has not done a beautiful job on their waterfront front. So when you go to a country or a city like Chicago that has this really beautiful waterfront front, it's really quite enjoyable. So that was the end of our summer. And now that we're stepping into September, it has been a whirlwind. And I don't know if you busy moms feel like this. And like, I would love to hear your thoughts on this if you do. I feel like, especially ever since COVID has kind of, is a little bit behind us and we're stepping into more normal way of being, the velocity of the day-to-day when September starts is full throttle. It almost feels like we never left the end of the year and we're just continuing on at this high pace. Now, I say this also with the context of choice, right? I'm also choosing to keep my kids in the programs that they're in. I'm also choosing to ramp up my energy and ramp up my output of business and ramp up all their activities. There's always a choice in this. So I'm not saying this from a place of complaining or a place of excuses or a place of poor me. I am so grateful. I'm so grateful. It is really that it reminds you that September is busy, right? And sometimes it can feel daunting and overwhelming and that it just gets in full force real quick. I don't know if you guys feel this, but I certainly do. And so because of this, I've been ramping up everything, right? Like our 21 day kickstart is back on the radar. We've got several people in that program. This is now a um, automated program that you can just 
get the workbook and then start doing the program on your own. And the kickstart is really that. It is just to reset and detox your habits, especially after the holidays or the summer or whatever it is, to get back on track with feeling good in your body, moving your body, getting the fitness practices in that we know make a different difference, nourishing your body with the uh, nutrition practice that we know that also make a difference in our energy, in our feeling good, in our fat loss, if fat loss is a goal. And then the, um, and so that is full throttle. Several people have already jumped into that last week so they can, they can get back on track and kind of reset and kickstart. So that's really exciting. And then the retreat. So the retreat is happening November the 8th to 13th. If that feels like oh my God, I would love to do a fit mo fitness movement and mindset retreat. Definitely get details as soon as you listen to this because we are finally filling up. I think we have two spots left, um, but that took me a while. It was a bit of a slow burn. And before, like I only started, I guess, the advertising and the releasing of it four months ago. And I really thought that would be enough time, not recognizing that through the summer, people are not in go mode. People are in, leave me alone. I'm just chilling. I'm enjoying my summer. I'm not thinking about the hustle and bustle. But now that we're back in, right, I filled two more spots this weekend. I'm so grateful. Um, but people are back into the mindset of, oh, what am I going to do when it feels overwhelming? What am I doing to take care of myself? And so if you know that September is already feeling busy, and if you know that come November, you're going to feel like, oh my God, I just need a break. This is a beautiful opportunity. I know I've spoken about this before, but retreats are this unbelievable catalyst. When you take the time and space away from life, it really allows for this evolution, this up-leveling at a different velocity than before. I'm using the word velocity a lot today at a different speed than before, right? It really is this catalyst that happens of being able to step away from your life. Because here's the reality. Life is busy. We've just spoken about that. Life is busy and there are so many demands and pulling of our energy. And because of that, yes, you can have beautiful practices around your nutrition and your fitness and your mindset and your life, but everything is competing for your energy. Everything is competing for your attention. Everything is competing for your time. The beauty of being able to step away from the everyday, even for the short six-day retreat, is that you actually get to pause. You get to put a full pause on life and say, life, I'll be right back. I'll get right back to you. And you can actually dedicate the time that you deserve to rest, reset, rejuvenate, recalibrate, and take the time to go, excuse me, inwards, right? Inwards with, you know, what matters to me right now? What matters to me as I end the year? What matters to me at this point in my life, right? If you are a busy working woman or a busy mom like me, busy working mom like me, like I said, there's so many competing interests, but there's so many things that take precedence over our time, right? Like I have excellent fitness practices and nutrition practices, but even then to take the time and sit down and journal or to, you know, do my vision board takes a commitment. It takes me chunking out time, taking time off of work, taking time away from my kids or whatever it is to say, okay, what is it really important to me? And we all know, especially my busy women out there, it is easy to say that we have the best intention, but carving out the time is hard. So the beauty of being able to go to a retreat like this is not only just having the time, but having the facilitation of the conversation, right? What is going to support you? What do you need in your life right now? What are your goals for this final quarter? And what is your goal stepping into the new year, right? Because it will be in November. So that can be a very, it will be a very potent conversation to have going into November with December just being around the corner. And I think that it is in this introspection, this time of thought and internal dialogue and moments of space that allow you to ask the question, how am I doing? Am I pleased with the trajectory of my life right now? Am I doing all the things that feel really good and exciting that feels like, yes, I'm up-leveling where I am? 
And it's not about bad, good, right, or wrong, but stepping away from the everyday in a mindset movement retreat, like the one I'm running in Costa Rica, really gives the opportunity to reflect, to take the time, to do the inner inner work, and to hone into the fitness practices. This is going to be an epic time. I'm so excited, actually, because we're going to be on a private luxury hotel resort um, that is also a vegan hotel. So meaning all the nutrition that's going to be served to us is vegan-based. It's plant-based. Now, the beauty of that, and just so you guys know, I am a carnivore at heart. I eat meat every single day. Um, I love my red meat. I eat everything, truthfully. Um, And very rarely will I have a vegan meal. Very, very rarely. I love them. I find them quite challenging to make myself. I mean, we have a meatless meal once a week, like a focused uh, meatless Monday meal. Um, But to go full vegan is a different thing for me. And I'm also very focused in how can I get enough protein and nutrition in. Um, But it's a beautiful opportunity to give our guts this reset, this break of nourishing our body, right? The owner of the hotel, Karen, has been a vegan for over 40 years and has really put her own personal interest in with her chef, Nico, to really have world-class vegan food. People come all around the world actually for their food um, in Costa Rica, right? So she really prides herself on the nutrition piece, on this piece of how do I nourish my clients? How do I nourish my community in a way that feels really, really good? So I'm very excited about that. But it's also this beautiful opportunity to reset our systems, reset our guts, reset our taste buds. And just the truth is, and you guys know this, when you take even the time to have a meal and you slow down, right? The power of presence, food tastes different, right? It feels leveled up. It You can taste all the nuances, the flavors, the deliciousness, the spices, and then the textures, the beauty of, and you know this when you go on vacation, everything seems so much better, juicier, more alive because you're taking the time and the space to allow for your experiences to blossom. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in Costa Rica. I'm so excited about the nutrition. This hotel is this really beautiful gem in the middle of Tamarindo, a five-minute walk to the beach. And so we are going to be doing daily movement, fitness, and yoga. We are going to be doing daily mindset workshops, talking about how to get on track, how to feel our best, and all the pieces in between. We're going to have cacao ceremonies and breathwork ceremonies and really beautiful ways to tap into us feeling our best. So I'm super excited. Uh, We currently have, I don't even know how many we have, but we have two or three spots available. So if this feels like, oh my God, yes, November would be an amazing time to go away and you can get it off work or you can take, you know, make sure that your kids are taken care of, whatever it is. It is really for women 35 to about 55, I would say. Um, And we are going to just be in community, be in sisterhood, and really up-level our level of fitness and our nutrition. So I'm very, very excited. So if this feels like something that feels like a hell yes for you, I will include the details below this podcast. And I just wanted to add the last thing. So I was in Costa Rica about four years ago now. And it was the first time I was in Costa Rica and I was there for a yoga retreat. I was not facilitating. Um, But if you've never been to Costa Rica... It is quite a spectacular place. The sunsets there, guys, are like nothing I've ever seen. The beaches are mind-blowing. They are sprawling and long. The water is like a bath. It is incredible. And so one of the things I'm really excited about is movement on the beach, surf lessons in the ocean, and sunsets. We're going to do some sunset meditations, and we're going to do some sunset conversations, which I think will be quite spectacular. So if this feels like something for you, I would love for you to join us.
Let me tell you what is coming up in September and in October, because this month is going to go by so quickly. So we just started our first cohort of this season of fall in the 100 Day Fit Mind and Body, my signature program where I support women in the facets of fitness, nutrition, and mindset, really transforming who they are, how they show up, and how they feel all in 100 days. So 14 weeks, almost four months. So we have five epic women that have started already. Um, And what I love most about this isn't that women don't know they should move more or nourish their bodies well. We all know that, right? It is the support and accountability and the mindset piece that really dials in and dials up this program. It really is this opportunity, this beautiful opportunity to not only recalibrate and kickstart your system, but to really hone into the practices, those goal supporting practices that get you transformational results right? Whether it's fat loss of 30, 50, whatever pounds, whether it is just having consistency to feel good, to look better, to feel great in your system. These are the things that matter and actually are doable, right? And so nobody needs a program, but what I find is that busy women We're pulled in so many directions. We're excellent at nurturing others and giving to others, doing so much for others. And there isn't much left for us, right? And oftentimes when nothing is left for us, our priorities and what's important to us falter and fade into the background. And it's the last thing on our to-do list. What I'm committed to in this program is putting you at the top of that to-do list that once you fill up your cup, you have actually much more energetically to give to everyone else around you right? And that accountability and the community of women of knowing that you're not alone, that we're all in this together is motivational, right? It really is this catalyst to get you the results that you desire. So if you're like, huh, this sounds really good. I'm actually taking rolling and rollings this year. I'm not doing, I used to use it, only do a September entry, a January, uh, January entry and March entry, but now it's going to be rolling. So I'm looking for basically five women every single month to join us. We already have our five right now. So the more, the merrier. So if you're like, this sounds like exactly what I need, or if you want to talk about it, let's jump on a call for 10 10, 20 minutes and see if it is for you. So the final thing I wanted to talk to you about is this. Although I love these solo episodes, I love having conversations with you. There is something really special about bringing on special guests. So over the course of this month and next, I'm going to be inviting some really powerhouse women from the fitness industry, from the medical uh, health industry to talk about midlife, to talk about menopause, to talk about hormones, talking about women and optimizing our health and our well-being. I'm not going to mention any names, but I'm really hopeful to get some powerhouses in this on this podcast. Uh because I think their stories and what they have to share is so important in women's health, in understanding our metabolism and the nuances around metabolism. You know, it is so fascinating. Well, you know, I guess it's not fascinating. There's so much information out there. And so it's so easy to get get misinformed. And we also come to this information from a lens of our own life experiences, what used to work for us or what we've seen in the past or what have worked from our friends or what we used to do in our workouts way back when, when we were in twenties, maybe even our thirties. But when you look at the evidence-based research around what does the science say It is unequivocal. Yes, you can try to do cardio and keep doing cardio, cardio, cardio. But when you look at the studies around longevity, well-being, uh, lowered um, diabetes rates and improved heart uh, health, it really looks at resistance training as the underpinning for women, right? For our bone density, for our lean mass, for our metabolism, for our hormone balance, for fat loss profile, for, you know, um, leveled blood glucose levels, uh, healthy blood glucose levels, you know, those diabetes markers are low. It really looks at how do we nourish our bodies and how do we move our bodies? How do we nourish with good protein, with more protein than you think that you need ladies, as well as movement, but specifically resistance training. So I want to bring on some of those experts that really speak to that about how can we as busy women, as we 
you know, go through life in our careers and maybe sometimes as mom, moms and, you know, really bossing it in our lives and perhaps even in your career. How do you keep that trajectory energetically and successfully in a way that feels good, in a way that looks good and feels your best. So we're going to be diving into that. I'm going to be bringing special guests on maybe every week, every other week, depending. So I'm hopeful that you will join us every single week as we have deeper conversations about mindset, menopause, money, movement, all the things. I didn't intentionally mean all the M things, but things that matter in midlife, right? So... I will include all the details about all we spoke about this on today's episode. Please join me next week as we dive deeper into how do you reset your mind and body. I'm going to talk about specifically my 100 Day Fit Mind and Body Protocol uh, and about how you can adopt the mindset of an athlete, transform the way that you show up in your life and in your body. Thank you so much for joining me. Please make sure you share this episode if it serves anyone. And don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. 